on another day, another pain, but another lovely day in my tail. <clears throat> Good morning, Maureen. Yeah, whatever. Nice to see you being a little teenager you know we saw her. Teenager? I'm 24. Oh. So lovely. I'm going to play today. Alrighty then. To start the day with a cup of... Maureen. Yeah? I asked specifically for a cup of Joe. Do you not remember that text message that you teenagers are all about that I sent? Yeah, the one with all of the extra emojis that were completely unnecessary. I remember. I knew you'd know how to read that. So where's my cup of Joe? Okay, here's the thing about Joe. When you try and shove him into a cup, he kind of ran away. <laughs> so, just coffee then? Just coffee. Mm, I suppose it'll do. But tell Joe he's fired. I don't think he wants to come back. Ah, oh, good morning, my little Marimo. We haven't been telling Marie my secrets now, have we? Oh yeah, they totally spilled all the beans last night. We're going to have some talks after my show. Speaking of my show... Marie, where is my microphone? I haven't seen it. Oh no, I hate when they do this. They just can't make life easy on me. Invisible microphone day. Alright. Normally it's... Oh, that has to be it. Alright. Um, so you're fucking with there. Alright. Welcome to Night Vale. Listeners, today... I bring you to my desk. Welcome to it. It's beautiful, I think. I have nice candles it just to make me feel a little more cozy during these times of hardship, darkness. But I brought light into it. I also am greeted with a beautiful little ziplock baggy thing with a zipper. And it is covered in these weird creatures. To tell you the truth, I actually have no idea what this is. Normally, I never have anything on my desk other than my marimo and my coffee and the occasional whatnots that my interns have left for me, like paperwork. But I have no idea what this is. These creatures I have never seen before, they must be fantasy. How strange. Oh! Listeners, I have disturbed what is ever in this bag. I am a bit concerned, but for you, we shall see what is in the side. Hmm. Maureen? Yeah? What exactly was left on my desk and why? I don't know. Somebody just came in and dropped that off for you. I don't go through your presents or paperwork or anything. So this must be from a gift-giving day. I had no idea that it was a ritual day. Hmm. How strange. All right, well, it looks to be a ball of spikes. Hmm. I had no idea that I needed a ball of toothpicks. But we shall investigate further. Oh, it hurts. Oh, that is unpleasant. Pain. Pain is all I feel in my hand. All right, but what is the... Oh! Listeners, it has... A nose. At least I think that's a nose. Yep, I saw a guy with a thing like that on his face once. It is definitely a nose. Hello, little spiky creature. What on earth? Oh, he is running out of his ball. Oh, and he has paws. Paws with claws. Giant, vicious claws. What on earth could it be? Oh! It's adorable. That is what it is. It also appears to be a mouse of some sort. Listeners, I am holding a spiky mouse. It has to be a mouse. I've never seen anything with these types of ears before that is not a mouse. So of course it is a spiky mouse. But who on earth left it and why? 
Oh, he has a cute little leg. His leg appears to be that of a fetus. But I should really call Carlos to figure out what exactly this is and why it would have been left for me. Let's see. Time to call my boyfriend. Now, this is part of the show because this is newsworthy. Spiky Mouse. Newsworthy. Hello? Carlos! Cecil! Hi, I'm at work. Oh, uh, I hope I wasn't bothering you. Well, I mean, you called me, so I guess I'm not. What's up? Are you listening to my show? Uh, yeah, it was, it was just, um, playing in the other room and I was doing science in this room, but it's okay, I'm here, I can listen to it now. I'll tune in as soon as I'm off the phone with you. Oh, alright, well, I found this thing on my desk and it appears to be a mouse. You, you found a living thing on your desk? I mean, sometimes old buildings get infested with mice, so... Yes, but it was balled up. And it seems to be pulled up with a lot of anxiety. It's very scared. But I believe it is a spiky mouse. A spiky mouse? Yes, it's covered in spikes, like toothpicks. Little toothpicks? Like small ones or big ones? Um, teeny ones. They're oh, kind okay. of orange and ferocious. What color is it? Um, mostly white with a few brown spots. And it looks like a mouse, but with spikes on it? Yes. Well, that sounds like a hedgehog. I've never heard of such a thing. I'm pretty sure it's a spiky mouse, Carlos. Well, I mean, that that sounds a lot like a hedgehog, but, um... It does not appear to be a bush, nor a pig. It, that's not... Okay, so the spiky mouse, it got left for you? Yes, I have no idea from who. Are you sure it's safe? You remember what happened the last time somebody left a living thing for you. It appears to be organic. Okay, so not mechanical, not gonna be, like, attacking... Mm, no, it appears to be organic. Very afraid. I don't think this one could grab my arm, or my leg, or my cat. Okay, well that's a good start. Um, I guess I could do some internet research and then I could be over to have a look at it. That would be lovely. Maybe we can figure out where it came from. But while I wait, um, do you know what it eats? I don't want to starve. Um, uh, a small mouse-like creature could eat anything from bits of fruit and food to maybe some sort of small worms or- <gasps> Bugs! I have bugs! Alright, thank you, Carlos. I, I appreciate bugs. the help. You're welcome. I thank love you. you. I love you. Goodbye. Bye. He's so, so romantic and telling me to feed him bugs. Alright, so bugs it is. Come along, small creature. We're going to the break room. We have to be careful in the break room. Let us go. Oh, and listeners, I'll take you now to an ad by a company that sells walls. Welcome to the break room, little guy. Oh, oh. Dead around her. Don't look. Alright, just, just don't look. No, I know, it's scary. They bury them here. And I guess they haven't buried that guy yet. Alright. They're just waiting on his family. It's okay. Let's see. Bugs, 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 and oh, bugs. Aha! Delicious bugs. I knew we had some. Now, let's see if I can find one just for you. Oh, they're nimbly. Oh, that's a cute name. Nimbly. I should call you Nimbles. It's a cute name. I like it. But I found a bug. Would you like it? Carlos said you would like bug. <gasps> you do like it. Oh. I wonder if there's a bug on the center. Hmm. Oh, I don't even want to touch it. Oh, is it tasty? Oh, you like it? Oh. Well, I'm pretty sure there are more in here. I'll just take them back to my desk with me. Alright, and also get somebody on the cleanup crew for that. Ooh. Alright, back to the desk with us. 
Yeah, keep the listeners waiting. You thought I was dead. Thank God, I'm finally free. I'm out of here, man. Oh man, what a journey. The internet is a crazy place. I'm losing science everywhere. All right, where is Cecil? 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 All right, I'm gonna set up without him. Should be okay. I brought all of my best experimenting stuff. I've been some weird places. Cecil? So we're gonna find out where this thing came from and what it is. And we should meet old woman Josie and her Cecil, there you are. partners Obi Jericho's. She has plenty of stories that you would absolutely call Cecil. What a surprise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to you being here. I mean, well, I mean, I was at one time here, but we didn't have that on the radio. Oh, radio. Um, <laughs> you didn't say anything, did you? No, of course not. Plus, you've been at the wedding this whole time. Oh, I didn't know I switched over to the. Oh, thank you, Maureen. No, it's been the weather like since I called, or since you called me, and then it, I tuned in right afterward. It was the weather. It's been the weather. Um, oh, mm -hmm. your microphone arrived at the house. Yeah, it got sent in for refurbishing, and it arrived at the house today. I was going to tell you that. I, I forgot on our phone call, but I was going to tell you that it got there at the house. So, if you're missing your microphone, that's why. Um, so it's not on this full mic day? No. Um, that's probably why you've been in the weather all day, huh? Oh, dear. Listeners, that's what you can't hear me. Um, well, your horrible, your nice uh, intern lady said that she went ahead and set up the overhead since I got here and told her the mic was at home. Oh, oh I am. So is this the, the spiky mouse? Yes, it's the spiky oh mouse. Oh my gosh, it is a hedgehog. I thought so. Spiky mouse. What's, well, it's a hedgehog. I did some research, actually. I've been all over the internet today. I went to this place, and there was this one website, and I got stuck in a, in a house for a little while. Oh yeah, there's I was just, trapped in the house. I, they yeah, were very nice. There people, was a was. kid in his bedroom with no arms. It was his birthday or something like that. Some gray people. Um, They're pretty vulgar, but pretty nice. Yeah, they were. They were all right. It well, was I pretty cool. Friendship. I was on the. Uh, I was on Tumblr for a while. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was on your page though. Okay. Well, see the thing nice. that I'm I did see the thing you're blind for me. Fun. I didn't get to, but I'm sure you did. I did, and it was awesome. I'm I loved so it. Also, um, I did find bugs, and he oh. like them. And they do love bugs. Yes, he ate oh, you little guy. guy. So hedgehogs, spike mice, or spiky mice. Um, they are really, really sweet, really tame. They make great pets, and I don't know who would have left it for you. I named, named it. You named it? Mm-hmm. So I guess this is gonna be a new friend for us? Or? His name is Nibbles. He can hang out at home. Um, unless you are allergic to him, and then he can hang out in the other part of the home. <laughs> well, actually, I'm not allergic, which is good, and even though they're a little bit high maintenance, I think you could probably handle taking care of them. We are all dying. wrong so well. He's so sweet. Is that... They said this was bugs. Yeah, they're worms. It looks like... Oh, I see the worms. Yep. How long has that been in the fridge? Oh, um, about a day. Okay, okay well... It was quite delicious, but since it. your species origin is known, I might need to do some tests on that. Oh, well, I mean, if you would like some, I can just order you some. Well, no, the, the, the science experiments on things that have been in the fridge a while. Oh! All right, well, you obviously have already kind of set up around my place. Well, I thought I was going to test on this little guy and try and find out what he is. I don't think he'll fit in there. No, it doesn't seem don't like it. Please don't whack him with that. Oh, that, that's just a desk ornament. I thought you would like it. That is rather cute. Well, you can keep that. Really? Yeah. I'll think of you always. Mm. 
It's the science of magnetism. You see how it works. It's a pendulum. So it'll continuously spin because of the magnets in the bottom of it. I got him a Ew. little top hat. Isn't it cute? I think he's adorable with it. Oh! Dapper. So <laughs> cute. Oh! Oh well. Maybe you're not a dapper Maybe man. he's a... Maybe he wants a bow. Maybe he's more of a bow guy. I'm more of a bow guy. Oh, you like me! You're more of a bow guy! And Carlos today is where sporting yeah. his cute bow. Look well, at now that. We match. My, yeah. my man bun and my bow, I borrowed one of your bow ties with that. That That's would be okay. Fun. I have that one because I'm keeping for you. Well, I guess we should welcome our new pet into the household and... Oh, you're on air, aren't you? Oh. Um, <clears throat> we should do the children's fun fact science corner today. And, uh, we could talk about... I'm gonna go play with him while you do that, so have fun, and wait, what microphone are you going to be using? The overhead one that Maureen turned on for me because I asked her politely. That's all that works? Yeah, usually when you ask for something politely, people are willing to help you out. Oh, well, you're better at that than me, so, um, I'm going to go play with him while you do science, and... I love you. I love you too. That was the sound of a smooching, listeners. <laughs> See, so you don't have to broadcast. Can I have? On the radio. Oh, well, he's already eager to go. <laughs> May I have his bugs? Do you have them? Yes, yes, of course, of course. Oh no, no, not of course, not of course. Come here. Oh, he likes you. <laughs> I um, think he should be our new baby. His name is Nimbus. I suppose we could always have room for one more. Well, all right. Well, you have fun with the science. I love you. You will love. I love you too. <laughs> you will love this man and his science. Okay, so today we're going to talk about chemistry, and I am so excited about chemistry. <laughs> 